and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. Today we'll talk about the role of a data manager in clinical research. Welcome to the GCP Mindset Channel and all topics on clinical research. Let us begin with understanding the role of a data manager. The role of a data manager in clinical research is pivotal. As clinical trials generate large volumes of data, the data manager ensures that this data is collected, processed, and analyzed with accuracy and efficiency. They act as the custodians of data integrity throughout a study, from startup to close out. While this role demands technical expertise, it also requires strong organizational skills and the ability to collaborate with diverse teams. How does one become a data manager? Many data managers transition from related scientific fields. For example, some start with a background in chemistry and later pursue programming, databases, and electronic data capture systems. These skills prepare them for the technical challenges of data management, demonstrating how interdisciplinary knowledge can open doors to this career. Let us look at the phases of a data manager's responsibilities. One, the startup phase, laying the foundation, this phase is one of the busiest for data managers. It involves A, designing ECRFs, electronic case report forms. These forms collect clinical trial data directly into databases, replacing traditional paper forms. B, programming validation. Checks, these automated checks ensure data accuracy, such as ensuring that an end date cannot precede a start date. C, preparing the data management plan, this document outlines procedures, responsibilities, and timelines for the study. D, training study staff. Data managers create guides and train clinical staff to use ECRFs effectively. Two, the conduct phase, managing and monitoring data. Once data starts coming in, data managers. A, monitor data entry for accuracy and consistency. B, raise and resolve queries for discrepancies. For example, if a systolic and diastolic blood pressure reading is swapped, the site is asked to confirm or correct it. C, provide reports to study teams, enabling them to track progress effectively. Three, the closeout phase, finalizing the database. After the last patient completes the study, data managers prepare for the database lock, ensuring that A, all data is cleaned, consistent, and ready for analysis. B, outstanding queries are resolved, C, data is archived appropriately for future reference or audits. Who do data managers collaborate with? Data managers work with nearly every team in clinical research, including A, sponsors, to align on study requirements. B, monitors, to address data discrepancies at clinical sites. D, investigators and site staff, to ensure accurate and timely data entry. E biostatisticians to prepare data for statistical analysis. Effective collaboration ensures seamless communication across these groups, minimizing errors and delays. What skills are essential for a data manager? Technical skills, including programming and familiarity with EDC systems, are foundational. Knowledge of medical coding, regulations, and data reconciliation is also vital. Beyond this, strong organizational abilities, attention to detail, and adaptability are critical. Communication skills and empathy play a key role in managing diverse teams with varying levels of expertise. What challenges might one face? The dynamic nature of clinical research means that data managers often deal with last minute changes, such as protocol amendments requiring adjustments to ECRFs or validation checks. Additionally, the job can be regulatory heavy requiring meticulous documentation. Why is the role of a data manager so important? Data quality directly impacts the success of a clinical trial. A well-maintained database ensures accurate analysis, supports patient safety, and contributes to the timely completion of studies. The responsibility carried by data managers is immense, making their role one of the most underestimated yet impactful in clinical research. If you're interested in this career, start by applying for entry-level positions at a contract research organization. Hands-on experience is invaluable as the complexity of clinical research becomes clear only through active participation. Be prepared for a steep learning curve, but remember that technical skills can be learned on the job. 
Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.